the blog that I'm talking about today is the five things nurses need when they go into an isolation room. And for all you nurses, you know the struggle. When you walk into an isolation room, you know, you know, you need to either be prepared or you need to be in and out real quick, right? So, but every time you go into an isolation room, there's always, and it feels like absolutely always, and you never go in there and you, you, you tell yourself, you know what, I'm going in, I'm going all prepared, I got all my dressing supplies, I got all my men supplies, I got everything I need to get in there, do all my work and get out. The second you step in there, the second you tie up your gown and put on that mask, you're like, oh shit, I need A, B, C, and D. So these are the five things. If you want to just take note of them to remember to take with you every time you walk into an isolation room. Number one is stethoscope. And this one is super important for me because at my hospital we were told not to use our own stethoscopes because we use the disposable stethoscopes that are in the room. But if you're the first person to go in there, there's no disposable stethoscope in the room. And a lot of nurses who go in there and see a disposable stethoscope, in fact, we're supposed to leave it so they can use it the entire time. A lot of nurses, a lot of people end up throwing away the disposable stethoscope which means the next person that goes in there without a stethoscope needs a stethoscope so let's please let's do this together we're either all going to take in our own stethoscopes and clean them after or we're going to leave the disposable stethoscopes in the room so we can use it until the patient is either off of precautions or they leave like, let's make a decision as a nursing team here and let me know in the comment section below. Number one. Number two, the next thing you want to remember is flushes. And this is super important. And it's super funny because you, you, you always come with all your meds ready, right? You're like, okay, I'm good. I'm ready. And then you go in there, you're like, ah, oh, shit, I need to flush the IV, I need to flush the catheter, I need to flush whatever the G2, whatever the 9,000 things that you need to flush as a nurse, you always need flushes. Make sure you have a couple in your pockets, make sure you have a couple with your meds, make sure you have a couple in the room just to make sure it's there, right? So, flushes, 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 super important. Uh, for number three, he put just a normal saline bag because he says usually, I don't know if he works in a um, cardiac or a more acute facility than I did, for me specifically. Specifically, yes, normal saline is a huge, huge, huge thing that you need. But I also thought that bringing in your meds. And this is, I think this is huge for me. Not the meds that are scheduled, his 2 o'clock meds or 8 a.m. meds. No, no, no. I'm talking about them PRN meds. Those PRN meds get me every single time. I go into the room with all my meds ready and I'm so happy I'm like finally thank god I got all my meds and the second I turn around I talk to the patient and he's taking his meds he's like you know Q I think I feel a little uh, a little something back here I'm in a 9 out of 10 can I please get that whatever oh I'm I feeling so anxious can I please get that out of oh and you're like ah oh, shit help me god now I'm gonna have to go out and gown to get the med to come back to regown to just give you one uh, so please stand by the door and ask a patient, are you feeling any are you feeling anxious? Do you need any pain meds? Do you need any sleeping meds? Whatever PRN meds you need to make, you need to bring, please bring them. And with, with all those meds, a lot of my patients need like crushers because they take their meds with thing. Or if you need the applesauce with the meds, so just make sure. Make sure when you look in at your patient in the isolation room and you're at the doorway, go down your list and say, I got this, I got all my meds, he's not in pain, he's not anxious, he doesn't need any PRN stuff, he's had a bowel movement in the past couple of days. All of these things you need to go down the list because if you don't, I promise you, you'll be in and out, out and in, in and out, out and in, in and out a thousand times for that one goddamn med pass. Uh, moving forward, number four, wipes and bed sheets. So let's let's be real here. Nine times out of ten, if you're on precautions, you're on precautions for C. diff. C. diff heaven. My goodness, everywhere I go, there's more C. diff patients than there are patients without. It's it's impossible. And this one, I don't blame us nurses as much because when you have C. diff and you're pooping every five to six minutes, that means you're changing the sheets every five to six minutes. And you can't blame me if I forget to bring in the sheets if I just changed you an hour ago, right? I don't expect you to the sheets to be messy. I don't expect me to need four bags of wipes per nursing shift. It's insane. So this one, I give us a pass just because it's, it's, it's hard enough. It's hard enough to be going in there all day and staying in there all gowned up and sweaty. Those gowns suck. I don't know what we need, but we need some better gowns. And then last but not least, the alcohol swabs. The alcohol swabs, this is super important when it goes back to the stethoscopes because you need to wipe shit down. 
You know, especially when you go in there and there's poop all over the place, when they see diff all over the place, you want to make sure when you leave, you clean yourself up. If you want to wipe down the shoe that you stepped into, the the, 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 the mess that was on the floor, if you want to wipe down the table, if you want to wipe down the stethoscope, you got to wipe shit down when you're leaving a, a, a precaution room, especially if you need to use a bladder skin or whatever. If you need the Clorox wipes, you need the Clorox wipes. But if you if it's just the alcohol swabs that you need, you need the alcohol swabs. And it's also helpful when you are giving your insulins and your, your injections and all of that stuff. So make sure you have them. And then just to go down the list one more time real quick. So make sure you have your stethoscope. <clears throat> you got to do your assessment. You got to take care of the patient just like everyone else. Just because they're on uh, precautions doesn't mean they don't. you don't need to listen to them lung sounds. Um, you need your flushes. You need your normal saline bag and you definitely need the meds and everything that comes with the meds. I'm talking about the crushes. I'm talking about the applesauce. I'm talking about the tube that goes down for the feeding two patients. All of that stuff. You need the wipes with the uh, uh, bed sheets in case, most likely if they have C. diff. And last but not least, you need your alcohol swabs to clean up after the mess. So those are the five things you need when you walk into a patient's room that has isolation. Those are the five big ones that most nurses forget and stand at the door and say, Oh, could you please help me and grab me? So let's make sure we try to stay on top of that.